Dances with Film Film Festival. We're here with actress Monique Perrins, and what's the latest TV show? I'm currently working on a comedy show called Magic Funhouse. She's in Magic Funhouse, but I got to act with her in a film that's here. It's called LA Street Race. You're talking to the over 50 crowd. Yes. Look at this woman. She's amazing. And you're all about beauty. I'm all about beauty and celebrating what makes you unique. Because sometimes society tells us that we have certain features or whatever that are not our best things. And you know what? I think those are the things that make us really special. I, I think we should celebrate our sparkles. And that's Anybody who's ever grown their hair out from a shortcut knows that you go through a lot of different stages. And right now, at this stage, I'm not entirely sure what to do with my hair. It's a little too long for my sort of classic Hollywood flip. Um, so, yeah, this is just what I did this one night, and I don't think it was terrific. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what to do with my hair at this length, and uh, I think it's going to be ponytails for most of the summer. <laughs> Hello there, how are you today? I'm going to apologize right now if there is any extraneous noise going on. There is construction going on on the building next door to me. And it's like they're taking the stucco off the building and it makes some noise. So please forgive. We have not had a makeup video in a lot, little while. We are overdue. The mermaid hair I shot before I started work. Walk and talk, Monique. And I literally haven't put makeup on my face myself in close to three weeks. It's been really nice. That's not to say I haven't had makeup on my face every day. I am going to be shooting a video for you soon about uh, my skincare during the course of filming. Walk and talk, like I said. Uh, this is a Smashbox primer, oil-free. I seem to be pumping out a lot of oil today. I had this all nice and set up last time with, I've got the cat scratching post right here, and I had my mirror on it, which worked out really nice because I could lean in and I could still kind of be open to camera, and Monsieur Colby Cat is sleeping on the scratching post right now, so my mirror is over here and we're going to grope our way along, and I, once again, forgive me if I do things and you can't see them. Smashbox Oil-Free Primer. Hey, can you guys handle me just being in my sports bra for a while? I'm sorry. I'll probably be cropping this up to here anyway, so it's not like, it's warm. These lights are warm. Oh, I don't even know what I'm wearing tonight. Where am I going tonight? I'm going to a film festival. Um, I have today off work on Magic Fun House, and you know the crazy thing about filmmaking is when you get a day off work, you're bummed out. I hate having days off work. It's been really, really wonderful to be a working actor and to go in every day. I have just, I've loved it so much, I can't even begin to tell you how much. This is ELF Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. I'm using my usual Makeup Forever Ultra HD High Def Foundation, and I'm mixing my Wintertime Y235 with my Summertime Y315. Yes. And um, it's not a perfect match, but that's just how it is at this time of year. I'm going to be going makeup shopping very soon. Almost out of the dark tone. So you can see, just using the back of my hand as a palette. 
it's been interesting working on a show. Lately, I've been working on things, gosh, for the last couple of years, I've been two days on this, one day on that, three days on this, really not a long time. So being on something for, you know, several weeks has been really exciting. And it's been nice in that I get to work with the same makeup artist who really gets to know my skin. And my makeup artist is also an esthetician. So next time I go makeup shopping, I'm gonna be getting the foundation that she recommended for me, so I'll take you along on that trip when we do that. It's also the same uh, Ultra, it's not the Ultra HD, it's the Velvet Matte in the Makeup Forever. But she has to mix a couple of shades because she's working with what she has, and so I don't really know what the color is for me, and I need to get over to Sephora and we'll do the whole like color testing thing like we did before. Oh, spots everywhere, there we go. My favorite foundation brush is by Jacqueline Caleb, and it is the Magic Foundation Brush. Gosh, I can't talk tonight. It's a cocktail party. We'll just blame the, we'll blame the wine. <laughs> I haven't even had any yet. I've got a smoothie. Uh, I will drop links down below to anything that I can find. Sometimes I am using things that I cannot find. because they are older products or they're things that I got out of, I don't know, random this, random that. You know how it is. Stripey, stripey, stripey. It's been interesting watching the makeup artist do my makeup every day. They use so little foundation. They also spend a lot more time and effort and care on blending and getting it on perfectly. They must spend 15 minutes just on foundation. So I'm just far too impatient for that in real life. I did a short film last year, and it got accepted to the Dances with Films Film Festival, which takes place here in Hollywood. I got a pimple on my chest from wearing sunscreen on it, which even though I'm on a soundstage every day, I still put sunscreen on. This is um, Physician's Formula CC Cream. I picked it up as a foundation and I don't love it, but I use it on my chest to sort of knock down any residual red redness and hide this mole and now apparently hide this pimple. I have no idea what I'm gonna even wear tonight. I really haven't given it any thought. Put on a basic little black dress or something. It's a cocktail party launching the film festival. Uh, my film will be showing next week, so I'll take you along for that. If, if I can attend the screening of my film, I don't know if I'll be able to because I am shooting that day. And of course, work takes precedence. Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Light Golden. So excited about going to, well, actually I'm not, I'm not at all excited about going to this thing tonight. I don't know why I said it was. <laughs> That's a total lie. I'm supposed to be excited about going to this thing tonight. And it, it'll be nice. I'll be, you know me, I'm always like this. Once I get there, I'll be like, oh, this is great. But 
I'm a little tired right now. I've been getting good sleep, but I have to admit that I've been struggling with some of my lines, the, the memorization. <sighs> my brain is tired. This is a Sigma brush. It is the Soft Blend Concealer. Which I prefer for blending my concealer rather than applying. I do not know why that is, but I do know that to be true. On the subject of brushes, it has been interesting watching the makeup artists at work. Uh, you know, I use my Smashbox brush, this little Smashbox brush, to do my eyeshadow in the crease when I want more of a precise, thin crease. My makeup artist uses this as a concealer brush. So it really goes back to what I was saying earlier. You use the brush that works for you. It doesn't matter if somebody says, this is a concealer brush. If you go, no, this is my perfect crease blending brush, then that's what it is. If it works for you, it works. Tonight, there, there may be a red carpet. There may not. It may just be a cocktail party. So I'm not going to go too crazy on the makeup. I also don't feel like going too crazy on the makeup. I'm not crazy about wearing makeup right now. Let's get some powder. Hey, Colby Cat. They have missed having their mom at home. So yeah, I just uh, ordered new setting powder. I ordered it at Amazon, obviously. I've been needing a new setting powder. Uh, I have found that, well, I like the e.l.f. powder. There are times when it just seems a little coarse, that I would like it to be a finer grind, a little finer, a little, I don't know. So I've been sort of keeping my eyes open and asking makeup artists about what setting powders they like. This is RCMA. Also got other stuff. Uh, this is RCMA Original No Color Powder and what is nice about this is it has no flashback so if I am photographed with flashes if you've ever seen celebrities on the red carpet you know like real celebrities uh, where sometimes they have like white powder on their face that's flashback a lot of times the high-def powders are designed to look great on high def film, but they tend to have flashback on flash photography. So that's what I liked about this one. It's not a cheap powder, but it is what professional makeup artists are using on my face. And if it's good enough for the professionals, I think that means it's good enough for me. We'll find out. Okay. Um, just put a little bit on a paper towel here. I know, I'm like doing it the way the makeup artist does because it's a shaker top. I'll probably get a little bowl or something to put it in. RCMA powder. And at work they apply the powder with a puff uh, because it really pushes it into the pores and gives that really nice velvety finish. But we all know that Puffs are, you don't really wash puffs well, and they don't, it's just easier to keep a brush clean. So I'm going to apply my powder. That's not even a powder brush. I reorganized my bathroom. I can't find anything. Uh, but at home, I find it difficult to clean puffs. Much easier to clean a brush.
This is an e.l.f. brush, and I am using my NARS. You can see this is a gazillion years old. My NARS Orgasm and Laguna duo. Start with the Laguna, the bronzer. I get a little touch of sun on my face. Sun. I was watching Wayne Goss's video on how to bronze appropriately, and I'm going to attempt to put those practices into work. He said, start at the hairline. Oh boy, this is too dark. This is too dark for me. Blend that in. That is also what Wayne said to do. See, when in doubt, I listen to actual makeup artists. barely see this side of my face. Wow, that's really dark. That's way too dark. I should have Wayne Goss select my colors for me so that I know what I'm doing. Blend in with the powder. It's probably just a cocktail party, probably not a red carpet. Of course, now that I've botched my makeup, it will be a red carpet. Woo! Because. We know how life is. My favorite blush brush is in the drawer in the bathroom. So I am using this, it says e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush. I think that's what it says. I don't know, but I'm using it as a blush brush. Nope, don't like it as a blush brush. It's not soft enough. I like a softer brush. And we'll get some highlighter in there in a little bit. <sighs> blendy, blendy. Get some lips on Monique because you like to. I'm going with a hot pink. I don't know if I'm gonna end up with a hot pink, but Jan in Denmark sent me a package of Wonderful goodies, thank you very much, Jan. Um, couple of wigs, a really fun, silly party wig, and then a beautiful long red wig that they did not hold up well in the travel, so I'm gonna have to get them, I'm gonna send them to Byron and have him reset them and stuff, but uh, yeah, thank you, I'm very excited. So a uh, couple of lipsticks were in that care package that are not quite the shades that I usually choose for myself, so I want to play with them. Uh, this is a Sephora pencil, or no, it's a NYX pencil in some mystery color that I cannot see because I do not have glasses on. I'll drop the link down below. Let's do the eyebrows. This is Anastasia Brow Wiz in granite. I did tint my eyebrows this morning because I want, I always stain the skin just a little bit and I can't do that in the, when I'm shooting the next day. So it does have a little residual stain right there. Let me get this mirror in where I can see and hopefully you will be able to as well. And if not, I'm sorry. Scary side. Oh, another thing uh, Robin, my makeup artist, told me. I've got Robin and Kimber. Um, I spend more time with Robin. Love them both. They're both awesome. Uh, Robin, no, Kimber said this. Kimber said, with your eyebrows, because, you know, one is always really easy. One is always really hard. Start with the one that's really hard, because then it's easy to make the other one match. Wait a minute. Maybe I have that backwards. This one is the easy one. 
this one is the hard one. Where's this one the hard one? I guess we'll learn together. Do your hard one first. Nope, this is the hard one. I will all, I, let's remind me to start with my left eyebrow. That is growing in. It's too dark. See, that's the problem. When I get in too close, I like the Anastasia, the granite, um, but it is dark. Sometimes it's a little too dark. I am gonna fill them in, not because I want them darker, but because, well, I want them more filled in and I don't want them to be black. So, Canyon Classic Squad, the dark color. It's Physician's Formula is the brand. feeling the pink lipstick either. color but hate the pinch. Oh I gotta leave in 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't look like I'm ready to leave do I? <laughs> oh boy. Okay this is my Smashbox Smoky palette. I'm gonna go all over from lid to brow in this van in this sort of vanilla creamy vanilla color. My brush is Royal and Langnickel.
last thing I need to be is experimental, but I'm gonna be experimental. This is a Palladio pencil that I picked up at the Beauty Supply a couple few weeks ago. It's got a highlighter on one side and a contour on the other. And I never use, well, you know, I never use contour. I never contour anything. What will happen? Can I even see that? I can't even see it. I mean, I know it's there, but I can't see it. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Let's blend that in. I will use my Smashbox brush. Yeah, it did not work very well, but I am in the mood to do very little. Very little. I'm going to go in with the milk chocolate color and put it exactly right on top of what I just did. I know you've heard me complain about that. I complain about a lot, don't I? I know you've heard me talk about how I have this wonderful ring light that's right in front of me, and so I have great light coming right here. When I turn my face this way, I've got great light coming right here. I can't see this side at all. It's completely dark, because I've got all this light coming from this direction and no light coming from this direction. I'm not about to go buy a bunch of ring lights to throw all around me. But, I mean, that's a little expensive, but... That's why it always seems like one side of my face is darker than the other. It's because I'm doing my makeup in... less than ideal lighting. Man, that's really bad. And I need to leave in 10 minutes. Nothing on this brush, just smudging. Sigma Domed Utility Brush. I'm going to go in and use some of this mid-silver tone. Oh, hello, Colby. Oh, a big stretch. You want me to back down? Okay, good kitty. Smudge brush, dark gray.
the same dark gray. Some orange highlight one. A NYX felt tip eyeliner in gray. The same Palladio highlight pen. We're gonna get right under here. Pencil, I suppose I should say. Voluminous Feline Mascara, doing the bottom lashes first. highlight on the cheeks. This is a very bright highlighter. I'm applying it with a fan brush. I'm going to go as light as I possibly can. We love highlighter but in moderation. The highlighter that I got is from IamGreenMinded.com. It is a sample. I don't know exactly which one it is. It is very bright. It's peach. And mascara on the top lashes now. I like a finishing powder, uh, so I'm going to add my J. Emanuel Lux finishing powder in light. It's one of those steps that I think is, well, really completely unnecessary, but it just sort of smooths everything out and makes it look pretty. This is the brush that came with it.
I just love the that final velvety finish that it gives everything. And I love how it makes the, the contour and the highlight and the blush and everything all of a sudden blend in together and look like it's coming out of my skin as opposed to sitting on top of my skin. Okay, is what it is. Uh, hair is set and more or less styled. I'll give that a little shaping with some hairspray. Curl fell out a little bit, but that'll be okay. We don't need perfect anyway. Probably just gonna go with some LBD. Um, I like this lip gloss. It is Stay Glossy. I will look up what color it is. This was the one that, it's Rimmel, is the brand. Uh, can't tell the color, but I think it's very pretty. But it is a very gooey. And of course, I will take you along with me and show you the event and show you the whole outfit once I figure out what the heck it is. And I love you bunches. Please subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. I'm not exactly a makeup artist, but my life is kind of fun. And I take you along with it, even when it's not fun, even when it's just me and my cats. Okay, I'm weird. Uh, have a great day. I will talk to you very soon. Drop your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Talk, 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 more talking. More talking, quick, quick talking. Put their pick in Too much, a little less, a little oh, less. Sorry. Good. Good. <laughs> That's what we do. Good. Okay. And you're listening, waiting for the next question. Yeah. Just listening. Just listening. Just listening. You're waiting for the next question. She's just asking questions. Uh, uh,